Okay, so we are now going to start off with uh, one of the past examination question. And this is one of the question number two of the examination. Uh, it's a September, December 2020 exam. And uh, we are actually attempting question number two from this exam. Now, what exactly is this question all about? Let's talk, let's discuss. It says the following exhibits available on the left hand side of the screen. Provide information relevant to the question. The background information is available. The details of the joint venture are available. The public view of the joint venture is available. And the stakeholder analysis is being given. The information should be used to answer the question requirement within the response option provided. So the response option that has been provided is the word processing document. That means apparently there are no calculations that you have to do. Now what exactly is the requirements of these questions? It says, assume that it is now 1st of September 2000X5. Now amongst the requirement, what exactly is the requirement available? It says, discuss the problems that will be encountered in managing and measuring the performance of uh, uh, in the RSU joint venture. Then what actually happens is that there is for each of the stakeholder groups, Recommend and justify an appropriate performance measure which could be used by everyone. So one of them is the problems that will be encountered in managing and measuring the performance in the RSU joint venture. So there is a joint venture which they have talked about. They are asking you that what exactly are going to be the problems that will arise with respect to that joint venture. For each of the three stakeholder groups, recommend and justify an appropriate performance measure which could be used by everyone. Now what is actually happening is, let's just see. So it says Yuan University is based in T-Land, which is a developed country. The government of T-Land has stated that it will cut part of the funding for the university and has made it clear that Yuan must develop new replacement income streams one will remain a state owned so it's part of a developed country government has stated that it will cut part of the funding for university so the government is likely to cut the part of the funding for the university so university is based in d land so that's in another country which is a developing economy and which is culturally different to d land so there is a there is a university which is based in another country and that has got a different type of cultural environment as compared to the cultural environment in your in your country now what is actually happening is it says Ruan and so have recently entered into a joint venture to set up a new university in D land the new university is called RS University which is RSU Ruan and So, which each owns 50% of the joint venture and a new purpose-built campus has been constructed. RSU will welcome students within the three months. So, basically one of the company which is based in a country which is developed country and the other country is based in a developing economy. The source funding from the government and this funding is for the foreseeable future. Now, amongst the requirement, one of the requirement was discuss the problems that will be encountered in managing and measuring the performance in the RSU joint venture. I have not read through the whole question, but whatever that I have read through, I can just understand the difference that are there. One of them is the cultural difference between both the owner management. The cultural difference between both of the management, the funding and the availability of the funds for the future. So there is this funding and the availability of the funds for the future that is also something that you got to keep in mind. Uh, so the government of t -Land has stated that it will cut part of the funding for the university and has made it clear to Ruan must develop new replacement income stream. Uh, pressure on fund providers on Ruan 
the continued foreseeable support from the saw university for the saw university from its funders <clears throat> i'm just listing down few points i repeat i'm just listing down few points Okay, I got a feedback yesterday that uh, the uh, these these uh, writings that I do they are not easily visible. So in order to make it easily visible, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually uh, write down in uh, larger. Uh, I mean, like I've converted this formatting to be heading uh, three. That is what I'm actually doing now. So the differences is cultural differences there, the funding and the availability of the funds for the future. Funds pressure on Rwan, continued foreseeable support for the Saw University. What else is there? Okay. Rwan is forced to find new income streams, whereas Saw University Saw is encouraged to Saw is encouraged to enter into more alliances and so I is encouraged to enter into more alliances and so I is encouraged to enter into more alliances and uh, joint ventures I'm just listing down the points which are coming to me as soon as uh, I actually uh, as soon as I actually read through the question, I'm being able to see many differences. Yeah, performance measures is financial, non-financial. <clears throat> now, Ron and Saw so has recently entered into joint venture, so and so, so and so, that is okay. Now, details of the joint venture. Now, what, what exactly, exactly are the, the details, details of the joint, joint venture? venture? Let's, Let's try, try to understand, understand them. them. With respect to the details of the joint venture, it says Ruan and Saw have established a joint management board. Um, have established a joint management board. To manage the long term and short term operations of RSU. To manage the long term and the short term operations of RSU. The MBA's membership is 50% from each university plus at least one government representative from D land. Okay. Representation is equal from both, but additional one government representative from the SAWS country is available now, now what next is there it says the MB meets at least three times per annum and the position of the chairman of the MB rotates between Rwan and so on meeting by meeting basis Rwan has stated that its aim from the joint venture is to internationally expand our provision and lead educational developments in global arena by enhancing our revenue streams from innovative source. The objective of Rwan is this is what the objective of Rwan is. Now what next is there? Saw is keen Sorry, Saw has made it. Uh, Saw has made it clear that it will view the success of RSU by the quality of the graduates who are produced and by the contribution these graduates make to the society. 
So what is saw concerned about? Saw is concerned about the quality of the graduates who are produced and the contributions these graduates make to the society. Now what next is there? It says saw is keen that Rowan sends as many home based staff from T land to teach at RSU in D land as is possible. But Rowan would prefer to recruit local staff in D land to undertake its teaching obligations at RSU. Rowan's teaching staff have voiced concern about the extensive travel involved to teach at RSU and have also in indicated that their work of Rowan at Rowan is likely to suffer if they teach at RSU. Specifically, they feel that they would need to be able to effectively undertake their teaching duties, research activities or supervision of students at Rowan. Negotiations are currently taking place between the teachers, trade unions which Rowan's staff belong to and management could, uh, which could result in all Rowan's teaching staff refusing to teach at RSU. So, problems faced by Rowan problems faced by Rowan in convincing its staff to travel to RS now so this is all about the joint venture that we have got now see what is the examiner's requirement discuss the problems that will be encountered in managing and measuring the performance in the RSU joint venture. So there are actually two things that you have to focus upon. One of them is managing, the other one of them is measuring. I repeat one of them is managing and the other one of them is measuring. Now what next is there? Let's try, let's discuss, let's talk about it. So when we talk about it, you could say that RSU, I am just writing down the point. RSU is a joint venture of Rowan and Saw which are entering into the joint venture with different sets of objectives. And hence their goals will be different resultingly or I could just say with the different sets of objective and then I could talk about that uh, Ruan's intention for the venture is to expand internationally and to enhance their revenue streams from the innovative sources. Considering this, focus of Rowan and its management would be to ensure that they are able to maximize their revenues and hence they would like performance of the RSU to be measured from the perspective of increase in sales over time, the growth in student numbers, the profits generated from 
this venture etc etc <coughs> with respect to saw their objective is to their objective is to their objective is to is to focus on the quality of the graduates who are produced and the contributions these graduates will make to the society they would want RSU's performance to be judged mainly on these lines rather than about the students they recruited and the and the uh, rather than about the students they recruited and the revenues slash income generated from the sales to such students so that is something that's gonna happen I believe that is something that's gonna happen so with respect to saw that is what is actually going to happen now let's move a bit forward let's discuss further due to different objectives it will become difficult to introduce the acceptable performance measures for both group of investors with respect to managing of the performance of the business since in addition to the differences in objectives there are differences with respect to with respect to the prevailing culture the availability of the finance the pressure on funds the pressure to generate revenue and the acceptability slash support from the existing staff in undertaking this venture like in the case of Ron they are insisting upon local recruits as their existing faculty slash staff is not willing to contribute towards teaching internationally due to various reasons and so on this uh, and saw is insisting upon Rowan to force its staff to travel because of all the above differences Rowan's management will have a rather shorter term focus as compared to the management 
of saw and this could bring about deadlocks in decision making Okay, okay, just, just wait, wait a, a bit. bit. Okay, okay now. I have actually tried to put in everything that was there uh, into the short summarized paragraphs. Do let me know if you all are okay with this so that I can move forward and in case if any one of you would like to contribute anything extra also. And you would see my method of writing down the answer is I try to identify the points, I try to jot down the points and after noting down, jotting down the points, I then try to write down the answer. That's what I try to do. Yeah, is everyone okay with this? Yeah, is everyone okay with this? Yeah, here it is. Initially, I have I have talked about measuring of the comp. I have talked about the measurement problem initially. You could just see that I have talked about the measurement problems here. Yeah, do you get it now? Kindly do read through this answer properly. Uh, yes, you could talk about the financial and non-financial also. And you could just relate it to the overall objectives of the entity that what the objectives of the entity are going to be. I repeat, you could talk about the objectives of the entity that what exactly are these objectives of the entity going to be and how they would actually have an impact. Okay, let's move a bit forward. Let's discuss further. The next aspect of this question is that for each of the three stakeholder groups, recommend and justify an appropriate performance measure. Recommend and justify the appropriate performance measure, which could be used by a Ruan. Now, what next is there? Let's try to understand. When we talk about the public view of the joint venture, it says there has been some criticism of the joint venture with local community in T-Land. There has been some criticism 
of the joint venture within the local community in Tland. A parent of one of the students studying at Rowan has written on behalf of a newly formed public pressure group to the local newspaper saying that all the attention at Rowan on this is on this inappropriate joint venture. My son was told that he would not receive any help or any guidance as the staff who could help him were all overseas helping with the developments of RSU. So the local students have actually gotten affected. The parents have actually created a pressure group which is ultimately impacting the performance. His exam results were three weeks late as there were no one to mark the exams. Obviously the staff has not been deployed into the new ventures. So ultimately their non-availability would delay the work. This is not acceptable. Rowan should exist to educate TLAN students primarily. Everything else is secondary. Membership of the public pressure group is growing. Membership of the public pressure group is growing. Now see, at one place there is government who is saying we are not going to fund you anymore. You generate your own income stream. So when you go on to generate the income stream, the quality of the work gets uh, uh, compromised the pressure groups have starts creating. So this is a problematic situation for the entity. Now see, a stakeholder analysis. So they have done the stakeholder analysis here. Uh, they have created the Mandelow's stakeholder metrics and they have done the stakeholder analysis on your own, on their own. And they would actually be asking you about the stakeholder analysis, uh, the comments on them. Ruaz has undertaken an analysis of its stakeholder using Mendelo's metrics. So, so this, this is, is where the difference between APM and SBL is. At SBL, you might actually be required to perform Mendelo's metrics, which is a lower level task. But at APM, it's a higher level task because it's a strategic perform. You're a strategic management accountant. You're performing at the strategic level. So you would rather be required to comment on the strategic aspects which is that the people under working under you would have already worked would have already performed would have already created the information it says that you got to work uh, to develop that information further now see ruan has undertaken an analysis of its stakeholders using mendelo's metrics part of this work is supplied below along with justifications for the categorization of the three stakeholder groups so they have identified three stakeholder groups. One of them is the government of TLAND. The other one of them is the other one of them is Ruan Teachers Trade Union. And the third one of them is public pressure groups in TLAND. So there are three different types of stakeholders that they have identified. And obviously, if you would remember the Mendelo's stakeholder metrics, it tells you that uh, this is level of interest, level of power. So when you've got a low level, when you've got a low level of interest, low level of power, minimal effort. When you've got high level of interest, and when you've got low level of power, so what actually happens is that you just keep them informed. When there is this uh, level of interest is low, but the power is high, keep satisfied. And both is high, so they are the key players. Minimal effort. For this one, you would say keep informed. For this one, you would say keep satisfied. And lastly, you would say keep player. So that is what you have to do. I repeat, that is what you have to do.
Now what next is there? It says the government would be keen to know of any financial problems or difficulties with the joint venture. The government would be keen to know of any financial problems or difficulties with the joint venture but generally it would belong in a segment A so minimal effort should be expended. They would be keen to know of financial problems or difficulties with venture but generally it would belong that means they've got low interest that means they've got low power okay now let's move for the trade union they say the trade union's power could be high they definitely have a high power if it has the backing to recommend to the management of the one that one employee will not travel to or teach at RSU power is high Rohan can recruit local staff for RSU, the power and interest of the trade union will be both uh, will both be low as there will be little or no need for its involvement. If Rohan cannot recruit local staff then the power and interest of the trade union will be both high and it will fall into category D as a key player. That is right, that is a correct evaluation. Public pressure group in T-Land group has a very high level of interest, yes, in the joint venture and its power may be determined by its size. It grows significantly, then its power may become high also. For the present, its power is likely to be low, so the group will fall into category B, which is keep informed. Now, that is what they have done. What exactly is the requirement of the question? Try to understand this. For each of the three stakeholder group, recommend and justify an appropriate performance measure, which could be used by Rowan. For, for each, each of the three stakeholder groups, recommend and justify an appropriate performance measure which could be used by Rowan. So, who are the three stakeholders groups? The government of T-Land, Okay, you can take it as it is, you don't have to validate it because they have already done the classification, they have not asked us to do that, all they have asked us to do is that uh, they want us to tell them about the performance measure. Now, what should be the performance measure for the government of T-Land? Yeah, my question to you people, what should be the performance measure for the government of T-Land and why? Gearing ratio, okay, Bazaar. Okay, who else? Government of T land, not the government of D land, T land. Now, my question now, how to actually think of the KPIs for a given scenario? Just think about it. What, what is, is the, the government, government concerned about? I repeat, let me, uh, I mean, please let, let me know. What, what is, is the government, government concerned about? What, what do you think the government, the government is more concerned about? What is it that the government is concerned about? Financial problems, okay, what else? Yeah, the government is majorly concerned about the financial problems. The government wants you to generate the money. The government wants you to become self-sufficient. That, that is what the government, government wants you to do. So, so now, when, when it the, the government, government wants you to do, be the self-sufficient, um, so, so what, what is actually, actually going to be there is that, that maybe the revenue from new streams, maybe, maybe, one of them is the revenue from new streams, the other one of them could be, the other one of them could be that um, you could talk about the government of T-Land, revenue from new streams, that could be one of those things, which is that uh, the 
the deficit during the year what else what else what is government concerned about is based in tea land the government of tea land has stated it will cut part of the funding for the university are we being told anything about this government's involvement information relating to background arrangements and funding setup of a joint venture one university so on so on nothing mentioned here the only thing mentioned is that the government of tea land has made it has stated that it will cut part of the funding for the university and has made it clear that the Rohan must develop new replacement income stream. Rohan will remain a state owned. The government owns it. The government owns it. The government concerned about it becoming uh, self sufficient. Okay. okay. So, so you see, the concern, concern of the government is that this entity becomes self sufficient. And the government would keep on cutting its fundings and ultimately what they want is they want this company to grow and grow and grow now see what actually happens is that so what should be the performance indicators now for each of the three stakeholder groups recommend justify and appropriate that means one appropriate performance measure which could be used by Rowan revenue from new streams or yes the growth in revenue from new streams the, the growth, growth in, in revenue, revenue from, from new streams, streams. What, what are you gonna do you're, you're gonna say that look the, the government, government owns Ruan and is not willing to fund Ruan at the levels that it has funded in the past government is interested in Ruan being able to generate revenue from alternate income streams resultingly government would like to monitor on a regular basis the growth in the new types of revenue streams slash the amount of revenue generated from the from the new income streams over time that is what they would be interested in that is what the government would be interested in do people get it that is what the government would be interested in Yes, so that is what their focus is and that is what we should try to do. With respect to the trade union, with respect to the trade union, what is the trade union concerned about? Why does the trade union come into play? Okay, this is specific paragraph. What is the trade union concerned about? Ruan's teaching his staff is not willing to be basically traveling uh, has raised concerns about extensive travel involved to teach at RSU and I have also indicated that their work is likely to suffer if they teach at RSU specifically if they feel that they would not be able to effectively undertake teaching duties so and so negotiations are currently taking place between teachers trade union which Ruan's staff belong to and management at Ruan So basically the role of trade union, why have they come into play, why they are involved is that they are defending their staff for refusal to travel. The staff is refusing to travel. So they are there to defend the staff from their refusal to travel. 
that is why the trade union is there the trade union is not there for any other purpose any other objective they are solely there for defending their staff to travel now if i could just go on to this let's talk about the stakeholder analysis the teachers trade union power could be high if it has the backing to recommend management uh, that employees will not travel to or not teach at rsu if ruan can recruit local staff the power and interest of trade union will be both as both low as there will be little or no need for its involvement if ruan cannot recruit local staff then the power and interest of trade union will be both high and will fall into category d of being a key player now let's try to understand this thing so the trade union is a key player with respect to key player what do you need to do they could affect your business to the maximum possible extent so what is it that you need to do what is it that you need to measure you need to measure that whether this key player has been satisfied whether that key player is being is being treated like a key player so what could be the relevant uh, what could be the relevant um, this um, suggestion now what could be the relevant performance indicator Yeah, yeah, your suggestions, please. courses based on local staff speciality to avoid traveling teachers hours in ruan compared to rsu okay i like it now courses based on local staff speciality to avoid traveling percentage of staff travel as compared to total staff recording or ruan teachers and make it available okay now that is an action that is not a performance number of new staff recruited now see so the teachers union would be concerned about the proportion of the staff who is required to travel the second thing is that the number of courses that the ruan's staff local staff is required to teach in d land so that is what they are going to be morally concerned about so you could just include this that uh, you could say the number of staff traveling to rsu as compared to number of staff at ruan so they are concerned about creating an alternate which would lead to staff not being required to travel they are concerned about creating an alternate which would lead to staff not being required to travel and ultimately and ultimately they are concerned about creating an alternate which would lead to staff not being required to travel and ultimately they will stay back at ruan in tland so if we measure the number of staff who is traveling as a proportion of the staff at ruan 
if we are measuring the number of staff who is traveling as proportion to the staff at one then if we are measuring the number of staff who is traveling as a proportion of the staff then this would indicate to the union that whether a greater proportion of staff is traveling or a lower proportion of a staff is traveling the result will be that the result will be that these numbers will help in negotiating with the trade union and avoid any likely strike or refusal so basically um, as rsu you have to live up to the expectation of saw university also they are requesting you to send the staff from t land you are not willing to send the staff because your staff is not willing to travel so at one point you have to make sure that rsu is not affected and at another point you want to make sure that ruan is not affected the labor union is also being kept intact and then it always has to be some give and take now i have written down this answer and i just need to tell you people that it's not necessary that the answer that i have written is the final answer there could always be better answers i repeat there could always be better answers so i'm not saying that this is a final conclusive answer but this is what i could think of to be the best because you see when you are introducing the performance measure so just keep in mind what gets measured gets done that means you are trying to get something done so if you are trying to get something done you need to measure it so what is the most important thing for you to measure is to make sure that you are able to manage this trade union how would you be able to manage the trade union by ensuring that you do some give and take you do some give and take stuff and doing some give and take stuff is to uh, ensuring that maximum number of staff stay back and there are only few staff who are required to travel for some time once the things get settled you may keep your staff locally only okay uh, those people who are suggesting that online traveling and online solutions they they are actually recommending solutions they are not giving the performance measure it's more of a measure that you need to talk about i repeat it's more of a measure that you need to talk about so do you people get it we are done with two of them last one is left yeah, yeah suggest the measure and justify why are you saying that This, this should be, be the measure. measure. Suggest the measure. Justify, justify that. Why are you suggesting it to be a measure? now there is this last one which is the public pressure groups in tland so what is the public pressure group requiring us to do let's talk about them a parent of the students studying at rohan has written a parent of the student is studying at rohan has written on behalf of a newly formed public pressure group to the local newspaper all the attention at rohan is on this appropriate joint venture in appropriate joint venture my son was told that he could not receive any help or as the guidance as the staff who could help him were all overseas so and so so and so so and so so they are just concerned about the guidance the focus the attention that their kids are not getting the group has a very high level of interest in a joint venture and its power may be 
determined by its size. It grows significantly, then its power may become. So ideally, you should be communicating more and more. So okay, now there could be multiple ones like complaints received as compared to complaints resolved. The time is spent by staff locally. Teacher satisfaction survey, student lecturer ratio, yes, good enough. Parent satisfaction percentage, okay. Okay, see, now what happens is that, so the major concern about this public pressure group is the time is spent by the staff for the students. So the time is spent. Time is spent by staff locally at Rowan with students. So the pressure group has their main concern about the time that staff at Rowan is giving to the students and their pressure would reduce if they are being presented the time that staff has spent with with, 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 with the students probably a comparison of time spent over the years with the time spent after the launch of RSU to give them a comfort zone and to ensure that there is no active buildup from the pressure group again so that is what you are gonna be talking about so I bet that is what you're gonna be talking about So do you people get it? Okay, anything on, okay, the, any, because you see when you spend time, because the main concern is that you are not giving time, that is why the queries are not resolved, results are not published, the support is not provided. So ultimate focus is on time. So you focus, you talk about time. Ultimate focus is on time, you talk about time. So basically, we are done with this question, the name of which was Ruan and Saw University. Ah, uh, yeah, turn around time, the time is spent and etc. These are the things that could happen. So we are done with this question.